Right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it seemed like I was always uh, under pressure from Barry. Um, I remember we were in uh, Canada uh, getting ready to catch a flight to um, Vancouver. And uh, just out the clear blue, he walks up to me and he says, um, you know, you told me that uh, you wouldn't try to stand in Diana's way if she wanted to be a single artist. And I told him, that's right, I wouldn't stand in her way if she wanted to be a, a single artist. Uh, but by the same token, I didn't say that I would leave the group either. And uh, so it went on and on and on. And um, we got to the um, uh, Copacabana. And uh, they had uh, Cindy Bird song was there. And they had been uh, grooming her with uh, tapes for a whole year. And I didn't even have any knowledge of it. And... Uh, They had they had a whole tape of the show, oh. of the show we were doing nightclub at. Oh, I see. They had a tape, right? Okay. So she was learning uh, the tunes and everything with the tape. And uh, so we got to the Copacabana. They had uh, Cindy there, and uh, I don't know. It uh, caused me to feel more pressure because it was as if they were saying we're getting ready to. <clears throat> put you out now and uh, uh, usually limousine would pick us up uh, in front of the hotel take us to the Copacabana and uh, instead of me getting in limousine Cindy Birdsong was asked to get in limousine so I rode on to the Copa in uh, Lincoln that uh, Tommy was driving and uh, she was there uh, mainly to uh, study me, in other words, study my performance. So uh, we left, we finished the engagement at the Copa, and uh, I don't know which way Cindy Bird's song went after that. We went on and uh, we worked the Coconut Grove, and then we went to Las Vegas. Uh, we were at the Flamingo Hotel, and uh, that's when... Uh, I was in 1967. That was when I made my last uh, performance with the Supremes. Uh, because anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, this particular incident at the Flamingo in, in Las Vegas, I had had me uh, a few drinks. And uh, that's nothing unusual. Uh, Mary, Diane, all of us had drinks before we went on stage or any time we felt like it. But uh, Barry felt, well, I guess he knew how to get to me because uh, he wanted, which he always said, he wanted to control me. And if he couldn't control me, then he didn't want me around. So I guess by be in control, I was supposed to be a puppet on a string, and he was supposed to pull my string, and then I danced to his tune. Well, I'm not that type of person. I don't dance to anyone's tune unless I want to. Okay, Tate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was a problem where he would uh, say to me, Florence, you're too fat. Well, I was a size 12, and I guess next to Diane, maybe I was fat. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, I was pretty damn stacked because uh, and I knew I was well put together because uh, the guy's reactions in the audience uh, were, you know, something else. Anyway, I got pi I got I got pictures to prove that. <laughs> I just had a nice uh nice body, you know, size twelve to be five feet seven, you know that's a perfect uh that's a perfect size. Even if I, well I'm a fourteen now, that's not a bad size, not for my height and my bone structure. I wasn't meant to be skinny. And uh, and. 
Oh, well, you know, the way they look and, you know, you know, and um, some places I played in Manila, uh, especially Manila, they didn't even pay anyone any attention but me. And uh, i never forget Barry Gordy say, wow, uh, these guys are going crazy over you here. You really on the ball, you know. And, uh, yeah, he said in you know, a very nice way, uh, but they were after me. And I don't know, I accumulated so many, uh, well, call it fans, but uh, I would say friends also. Uh, and they were mostly male, and they were very nice, you know, and I, I enjoyed it. Uh, one little guy ran up to the stage, and he said, uh, oh, Florence, I just love you, baby, you know. So it was fantastic. So I must have had something on the ball. It wasn't fat. And, uh. So anyway, uh, Florence, you're too fat. Florence, you drink too much. In other words, uh, I guess I was supposed to say I'm an alcoholic uh, from drinking two or three beers. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, to be depressed and drink with depression, I think, can cause a whole bunch of turmoil, uh, especially when you... You, you are actually angered 